What is going on guys? Gray here. Today I'd like to talk about one of the new things or kind of two of the new things coming with uh, Season 2 of Modern Warfare 3. You've probably all seen the trailer by now. If not, you can kind of see it here in the background. Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone 2 Season 2 of course launches next week. And then upcoming season will include a debut of three new maps and a new zombie infested hardpoint mode plus other things as well. But additionally, the big thing I think that was kind of shown off with this is Rick Grimes and Michonne from The Walking Dead are due to be added as operators. The strong survive, the strongest win is kind of the season two tease. This is outlast the living and the dead. Skill-based matchmaking, of course, has been kind of discussed as well uh, with this update. We've he we're hearing a little bit more from Activision. But I think the one thing that a lot of people were excited to hear about, besides, you know, a little bit more of a open conversation about skill-based matchmaking, was you know, kind of the addition of a, a Walking Dead slash zombies idea in Call of Duty. Call of Duty has always been known for zombies, and adding in something kind of a, a crossover with The Walking Dead I thought was a really good idea. And also I think it's a really good idea for skins. I know a lot of skins in Call of Duty at times are really good, but at times I feel like some of the skins they have are not as good as some other games that we see out there when it comes to battle passes. There's a lot of other games out there that have deals with, you know, whether it be TV shows, movies, whatever the case could be, about, you know, bringing their skins into the game and they look really good and they're, you know, really cool and something somebody or, or people in general would want to buy. And when it comes to Call of Duty, a lot of times we don't really get that all the time. So I feel like adding this idea of The Walking Dead and kind of the zombie game mode in general kind of a crossover in call of duty is a really good idea and i kind of hope they continue with this i'm hoping this is not the only two characters that we get from the walking dead maybe we'll get something else you know moving forward but overall the new mode of course a zombie infested hardpoint mode sounds really cool but of course you know the biggest thing i think a lot of people were really wanting to uh, you know kind of discuss or hear more about from Activision lately has been that skill-based matchmaking. And we did get more of an open-ended conversation. Well, I don't know if you would really consider it an open-ended conversation. A lot of things that a lot of us kind of assumed Activision would say about skill-based matchmaking was said. But I am glad that at least they're acknowledging how their skill-based matchmaking system works. Kind of going out there and saying they're not adjusting damage or you know skill really in-game. And that they're still looking at ways to make the game more enjoyable for players that are you know on a higher skill scale they're saying they're still wanting the game to be a fun game for players that are, that are not as good so they don't want them in lobbies where they're going to get destroyed time after time because they know the player retention is definitely going to go away but at the same time i think they're understanding that player retention for higher skill players is also kind of dying off higher skill players don't necessarily want to play sweaty games game in and game out especially now that ranked play has been brought into Modern Warfare 3. If you really want to play a sweaty game every time, go play ranked play. That's kind of how I've always felt. That's why I really like games having, you know, kind of just a casual playlist and a ranked playlist. That way you kind of have something for all of the player base to play. But at the same time, I understand that you don't want, you know, players in lobbies that are not as skilled just getting destroyed because you don't want them quitting either. So overall, it looks like they are trying to adjust the way skill-based matchmaking is working. They said they're looking at, you know, options for both sides there. You know, for the lower skilled players, they're still wanting them to be in lobbies where they don't want to leave and quit playing the game. But at the same time, for higher skilled players, they're trying to find a way to where every match that they're in is not going to be something, you know, where they're facing off against players that are just as good or better than them in every single lobby. So we'll kind of have to wait and see about that. But overall, it seems like the news for skill-based matchmaking going forward sounds good. And I really am kind of looking forward to Season 2 because I kind of like the idea, like I said, of adding that Walking Dead slash Zombies kind of crossover into the game. And hopefully they will continue to have good seasons and good updates. That is one thing that I think a lot of us know about Call of Duty or, or have seen over the years. The first couple seasons are good, and after that, everything kind of just slacks off uh, content-wise. And I think that's one reason that people do quit playing the game, including, of course, that skill-based matchmaking issue as well over the last several years. But overall, I really do like this crossover they're doing, and, of course, all the new stuff coming with uh, Season 2. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, and, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.